Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's the girl Sierra Love and I'm here with another video, you guys. So today we're gonna be installing this lovely unit from West Kiss Hair, you guys. I just wanna go ahead and say, first and foremost, I love the color. I didn't do this color, you guys. This unit came colored like this on its own. So I am gonna show you guys how I got the curls to look as beautiful as it is. This is a this is a gorgeous unit. Let me just go ahead and say that. I love this hair. This hair is so good. It's so natural. It feels amazing. And then the Lay's Baby blending so well. And guys, this is a no glue method. The only thing we used was this. And she's on securely. We just use this. And I want to show you guys exactly how I was able to install this. I got the little swoops going. It just looks so natural. And then it fits my face. It fits my face. The color fits me so very well. But anyway, you guys, without further ado, if you guys want to see how I was able to install this unit with no glue, no glue, number one, okay? No gel. We didn't do the whole method where you bring the thing down we just installed this unit if you guys want to see how i did that just keep on watching i know you want it better putting on the pressure Hey guys, so <laughs> let's get into the unit. This is her right here. If you guys know me, I have been loving these color type wigs, baby girl. They fit my skin so, so very, very well. So I am going to be showing you guys a no glue, no gel, nothing method in how I installed this unit. So basically, we're not even going to do the, this method, you guys. <laughs> yeah i got you so all i'm going to do all i'm going to do is take my bronzer and i am going to place bronzer all over the wig under the wig mostly where i'm going to be parting it wherever i want the part to go and the front of the wig where my hair is going to be okay guys after that's done you can go ahead and place some i will put some here because i know my part's going to be there um, you can place a little here. You just want to make sure that once you do have the wig on, everything is looking as natural as possible. You understand? So I am going to place a little here. And this is just for all the newbies who's like, hey, I just got one little event to go to. I don't want to put all that stuff on my hair. You can still look good. So let's put her on. perfect you want to check the ears make sure that the ears are in place oh guys i always suggest you guys get a larger wig but if you guys are come on you guys are ogs on my channel you know that already all hair goes back we know this we know this and then i am going to take this just so that i can clip more of the hair back out of my way i can get a visual representation of what is going on here okay so now guys this is what i'm going to do since i know where the wig's going to lay right I'm just pushing up to where I'm gonna lay it down on my skin at. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my got to be spray, pull her back. We're gonna put some right here. This is the got to be spray. This is the only thing we're gonna use, you guys. Only thing we're gonna use. Put it on your skin, a little bit on, a little bit on here if it's if it if it needs to go. You're gonna take your blow dryer. You guys, I have a blow dryer, my video on my blow dryer um, on my YouTube channel. I'll link it down below guys that's just to make it tacky once you get it tacky you want to pull the hair pull the hair down it should look like that then go ahead and do that to the other side so then you guys oh i can't even do what i wanted to do <laughs> i was gonna try to grab both sides so then once you do this you guys can go ahead and you can blow dry it what i'm gonna do is i have a band right here and all i'm gonna do is tie the edges down with that band so i want to show you guys how i'm able ooh, how i'm able to multitask so I basically tie that, tie a loose knot in the back so that you can take it out when the time comes. Why would y'all let me film this video without lighting my candle? Oh, I also decided, guys, that I wanted to do a side part. I hope you guys can tell. Yeah, I just swooped the hair over to the side and then I'm going to, and I cut one ear part just to see like if this is really what I wanted to do. But I'm thinking, okay, so I am going to stick with the side part. I just want to swoop everything up really quickly over this way. I'm just going to take that same powder that I used and kind of like place it here, you know, so that this looks more like skin. 
it just gives it that appearance so it looks more like skin Ooh, i'm getting happy i'm getting happy okay let's get into these edges because i feel like the edges tell the whole story so let me show you guys how i was able to cut the ear part on this side all i did was this and I cut in a slanted way, you guys. Cut it in a slanted way so that the earpiece, you see how it's like literally slanted? So that the earpiece, once you take it off, it'll come right off. And remember, you can keep this piece just in case later on you wanna bleach it or dye the hair, you can. But that, I cut it this way just so that, look how easy that lays flat. And I don't have to worry about anything tugging on me or anything like that. So now, let's cut this um, lace off. How I cut the lace into three parts. If you guys know me, I go one here and I go one here. And then typically I do start with cutting the middle off first. You guys can or cut where you feel most comfortable. I'm going to just start with cutting the middle. And then you don't really have to even cut it. You could just take this and let it slide across. Ooh, my scissors is breaking. It'll slide off really good, slide across really nice. Now it is time for me to make my edges. Um, I am still gonna make edges on this side. I'm just not gonna do dramatic edges. I, mm, mm, maybe I don't need to. Yeah, maybe I won't. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make edges on this side, you guys, we're not. I'm just gonna do edges on this side. So take the edges out wherever you want them to be. So I'm going to have it up there. You guys see it? Ooh, I'm excited for this look, baby. I cut it slanted and then I'm going to take my gel or your edge control, anyone is fine. And I'm just going to lay her. And then I'm going to take my brush and I'm just gonna brush this hair in place. Also guys, it's good to leave a little lace because you want the hair to look as natural as possible. You want them to be like, where the hell is your lace girl? You know what I mean? And they'll ask that question if you leave a little lace out. Ooh, <laughs> let me stop. Let me, let me, um, I'm gonna spray this part because I don't want it lifting up. And then I'm gonna take my same pressing comb, just pressing her to make sure that she stays in place both sides. And this is gonna get it to look even more natural. Like, girl that hair grew out of your head all right plus guys i want to i like the natural wave that it had so i'm going to try to emphasize that at least over here on this side so what i am going to do is shape it i didn't want to shape it but i do want this to look so good and so natural so i'm literally just going to take the front part right here and i'm going to basically what you want to do you guys especially if you're cutting yourself you just want to go down at a diagonal something like this and then shape the hair down and then you should have something that's look a little like this. Notice how it's slanted. But once I push it up, I can see it kind of like fades out. So what you want to do is take your hand through and then cut those other, like cut it in a slanted way. Just so that you keep the whole, you know, curve thing going. So then once that happens, you guys are just going to take this. And I keep combing with my hands because I feel like the hands is the most natural. You're gonna go up like this and then come down and start to curl the ends. Please be very careful because your flat irons, like if, if you guys have some like mine, they are very hot. These are so hot. So all I'm doing is just going in layers, curving her, curving her, and then I'm just going to flip her back just like that. Okay. Um, the flat irons is very, very good when it comes to creating these like loose type of curls. I love the flat iron for that reason. It creates the most beautiful loose curls, in my opinion. Ooh. Ooh. Who is she? Okay, period. Ooh, I look good. And this is exactly why I love this color here, you guys. This is so so cute and then you guys the hair is very very long like if i stand up you guys can see where the hair ends and this is me on curling it so imagine if you guys were to actually straighten this hair it would be even even longer you know what i'm saying you're gonna love it i just love this lace you guys that is about it you guys if you want you can go ahead and put edges like i said over here not really my forte i just wanted to do something like this that's really cute got a little swoop going on loose curls here you see what i'm saying girl yeah they're gonna say "Ooh, what salon did you go to i'm gonna say uh my house <laughs> but anyway i want to thank you guys so much for sticking around throughout this entire video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns do not forget to go ahead and leave them down below i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys